I'd like to tell you a story uh, that started for me in November 2015 uh, and with the latest edition of, of Wednesday uh, when, I, when I was in, in Edinburgh. And it's all about, the, the story is all about CivTech. Uh, and it's all about driving, daring and innovation in the public sector. The project was sponsored by Colin Cook of the Digital Directorate. And it was led by the inspirational leader of Teams to Freedom, Alexander Holt, ably assisted by Mark Elliott, Reva, ex-chief executive of Digital City Business, Rui Cardoso, international business analyst, Katie Lin, uh, expert storyteller um, looking after communications, and Joe Root, uh, been there, done it, wearing the t-shirt entrepreneur. In November 2015, that wasn't actually the concept, <laughs> as is so often the case. In 2015, the brief was written to create a digital community. It was to map the key opinion leaders of the digital community in Scotland. And this ridiculous mind map that you see in front of you, and I put the whole thing up mainly because I couldn't compress the PDF, was the fact that we mapped the investment community, the academic community, the startup community, the media community. We mapped the entire infrastructure of who we identified as key opinion leaders within the Scottish digital set. And then we, we, we set about, uh, we, we mapped them, and we set about uh, uh, enhancing the online reputation of Digital Scotland. So these are the clumps that existed. What we then did is that we took each of the clumps and created personas around them just so that we had an understanding as to who they were and what their motivations would be. But what we actually did is that we mapped the sort of cognitive influences the questions that, that, that we were going to ask of them, the answers that we wanted them to have, and then the actions that were required by the, the, the team in order to, in, in order to move a, an individual down the unawareness to awareness, familiarity to consideration, and en engagement to loyalty uh, of flow. <coughs> we then created to the right-hand side a performance dashboard to track and measure the effectiveness of everything that we did. And the, the outcome was originally to create and enhance the online reputation of Digital Scotland. In January 2016, something quite remarkable happened. Alexander Holt got the Scottish, Scottish Government to create a procurement code for innovation. Digital Scotland, or rather something, w w was going to replace the, the, the existing land and expand management consultancies. So this was the significant point. In January 2016, procurement within Scottish Government created a code for innovation. In March 2016, because it's all running on a timeline, Mark Elliott led the most amazing mission, vision and values workshop I've ever experienced. And he was in tune with the cognitive revolution that he more likely led 80,000 years ago. And he nailed Simon Sinek's question of why we do things. The mission was to drive tech daring and innovation in the public sector and so produce better products and services, create a more prosperous, just and equal society, and along the way, make people's lives better. Nailed it. The vision was to become the leading international centre for civic tech. The values, the mission itself, the brutal truth, honesty and tra straightforwardness, action with thought and intelligent risk, I tried to get myself in there somewhere, the right people, teamwork and mutual support, continuous improvement, innovation and marginal gains, intelligent collaboration, doing the right things, same inside and outside, the right things, fun and enjoyment. What a great set of values to have. And so, <coughs> on an afternoon in March 2016, CivTech was born. 
So what was what were the vision here, the flow of what was what was to happen? What the thought was is that that the CivTech team would go to the Scottish government departments and ask them for challenges that they would like uh, for, for them to, to overcome or to, to answer. This would then go into the, the whether it be from public sector, large companies, SMEs, into, into this think tank to explore whether these were the right ideas. There would then be applications made by a set of startups or scale-ups into an accelerator programme of 100 days where they would come out of it with, an MV, with a minimum viable product that they could then take to market because they already had their first customer, but being Scottish and entrepreneurial, they could take to the world. So this is quite a, a groundbreaking flow within the public sector. So the accelerator program was uh, created and started up. The, 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 the challenges were brought forward about flood forecasting for small communities and air quality monitoring through data, uh, data visualization. There was the, 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 the amazing um, sort of improving tourist destinations along the A9, which is an incredibly long road if everybody's ever driven along it. And then there's cybersecurity uh, and, 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 and homelessness. Some really interesting challenges uh, presented by the public sector departments. But as I said again, it was that, that these were to answer, answer real challenges that existed. Now, in June 2016, <clears throat> a wiki was created because CivTech wasn't allowed to create its own website. So a wiki was, was used to, uh, as, a sort of, uh, as a location, a web location. They were lo physically located in a place called Codebase in Edinburgh, which is like the, the Scottish equivalent of GCHQ. And then they had an incredible set, a, a, a programme of activity, of everything from, from visitors to fireside chats, which I'm going to go into more in a moment. What happened in, in, in November 16, there was obviously a transformation moment, when I completed my growth hacking meets digital analytics meets dog workshop for them, uh, which took them forward in how they should go to market with a brutal simplicity of thought. But through this process, there was a series of, of amazing fireside chats. So uh, uh, amazing people, Ian Ritchie, uh, uh, Callum Patterson, Jamie Coleman, and uh, Andrew Murphy from Copper Top uh, Scottish Equity Partners code base and the John Lewis partnership went in. But the most amazing in the picture here, uh, I wasn't in, this, in the room at this moment, was the fact that this was the day that Gareth Williams sold Skyscanner for 1.4 billion. But that evening, he was doing a fireside chat with CivTech because that's where the future lies. Down the right-hand side is on the wall the set of visitors that have walked and talked around the, the accelerator room in this environment in code base which is, again, the great and the good of Scottish uh, business, society and politics. <coughs> In January 2017 was Demo Day, where over 160 delegates met uh, 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 at the location in order for the, each of, the, each of the, the, the accelerators to, to, to showcase their, 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 their work. The guest speaker... Uh, Mr. Wheelhouse, the, the um, MSP Minister for Business, Innovation and Energy, made an amazing presentation there. But what we're doing here is, is, that, is that CivTech lasted for 100 days. It started in November 2015 and, and version one was wrapped up on Wednesday with a retrospective of the workshop and mentors. Version two is going to start early in April. And that CivTech is now seen as a shining star for Scottish innovation and digital development. And I'm going to show the video in a moment, but what I truly believe is, is that CivTech really did rip it up. So bear me one moment. I'm just going to go to a click.
Some of this will work, some of this won't work, and that's a good thing. It's about reaching out, making ourselves more open, and embracing um, the potential for Fair new ideas. One moment. For me, that's I'm the just kind of really exciting to... bit. Of... I'm just going to move that one. Bear me one moment. Always got to love a bit of tech. Okay. I think. Uh, okay. Bear me a sec. Here we go. I think that's going to be the better one. Well, Sift text. The first I'm going to rewind it so that you get the full impact. Some of this will work. Some of this won't work. And that's a good thing. It's about reaching out, making ourselves more open, and embracing um, the potential for new ideas. But for me, that's the kind of really exciting bit of what Siftex is doing. The, the first 15 or 20 of them were n nothing here and all there. And then one came up. But I just went, wow. I think the, the, the prime element is to make a public body like SEPA more accessible to smaller um, organisations, individuals, and partnerships, people that don't normally get involved. We've got a mixture of sole traders, new businesses, albeit with experienced people, and established businesses. So there's real potential here, quite profound potential, around how the government does its business. how to run a business, how you go about things, the networking opportunities. Brilliant, you know, they were clearly run by subject matter experts. There were one or two speakers who came who were just mind-blowing. It places the citizen at the heart, I think, has helped shape a product, made it a better product. I'm a, you know, long-in-the-tooth salesperson and I know to get access to the kind of people that we had, had access to. It could have taken me five, ten years to actually phone and perhaps not have achieved that contact. Getting to, to hear from Gareth Williams on the day he sold Sky Scanner kind of was certainly something I wasn't expecting when I walked through the door in September. There, there were journalists out there who would have chewed their arms off to be in that room that evening. Environment sharing is uh, is massively important. We are just hugely let forward. It's been a roller, you know people talk about roller coaster rides. The only thing for us is that we haven't had a dang bit. The end result has just been fantastic. It's remarkable. I think it's just amazing what's what's happened. It was a whole new experience. Exciting, uh, scary, daring, um, dynamic, um, hard work. Um, Challenging. Totally groundbreaking. Demanding, but awesome. Just do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. At the retrospective on Wednesday, uh, we, we, I, I, was, um, I was lucky to be part of the programme from November 2015 and to see it through to in its first execution and now to be so the reason why Alexander can't be here today or can't be on Skype for the, the chit chat is the fact that he's presenting version 2 to the, to, to, the, to the political elite in the first minister's office so this is something that is radically changing the way in which digital Scotland and, 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 and transformation within Scotland is taking place and, and Ken Nicholson said uh, this could transform Scotland. So this is, a, this is the big initiative that is changing the way in which to do it. And I have to go back to the one thing in January 2016 when procurement in Scotland created a code for innovation. So that's CivTech, that's the story and thank you very much. <laughs>